Hello YouTube, Project Atoll members, or anybody else who may be watching my series of videos on how to set up D2 Atoll. It's a Diablo 2 bot working for version 1.14D. In this particular video, video 5.2, we'll be discussing two different scripts, the Atoll Clone Hunters script, as you see here, as well as the Level Announcer script, which you see there. And what that will do is help you find the clone, as well as in a Level Announcer, if you so choose to have that. So without further ado, let's get started here. The Atoll Hunter options, as you can see here, starts on level, or I'm sorry, line 20. And I think as a default it is scripted out. If you want to use it, you'll obviously have to delete that. Uh, I'm going to leave it scripted out because I don't use it and I don't have any characters, to be honest, at this moment to do this. If you want to, however, go ahead and script that out. And there's a couple settings here. So uh, what the NT config underscore hot IP, which is located on line 21, says is it is basically talking about any IPs that you know are hot that you want to add to this. You can put those list of IPs separated by commas here. As a default, I believe it just looks for the SOGE message that comes up, and then it will basically just hang out there, and hopefully you can get in and grab that Anahilis from that Diablo 2 clone. So you can either A, add your own, or leave it as default to look for that SOGE message. Next up on line 22, we have Say Something Noob. And that is basically a message that your bot will just occasionally say so that it doesn't get disconnected. Obviously, you know, you need to move around and say something. So that is what it's going to say so that you don't get disconnected. Next up on line 23, we have just a hunter configuration and currently it is set to true as the default. This is used if you're hunting IPs and you just want to idle in town. You don't want to kill the clone. You just kind of want to wait there and just sit and do really nothing, right? Then if you set that to true, that's what it will do. If you set it to false, you'll have to do a few more steps to get that going. Um, but you can set that to false and set that up as well. And next up, we have ntconfig underscore, underscore, oh my gosh, avoid realm down. And I've changed this option. It was 180 seconds, which is three minutes. I've set mine to 300. Just as an example to you guys, if you only have one CD key, again, you probably want a few more seconds added on to that just so that you don't get realm downs. I recommend five minutes and above if you only have one CD key. If you have 50 or whatever, uh, it doesn't really matter as much because you're as, not as likely to get a realm down. Level Announcer is our next script, and that is on line 29. Obviously, you can set this to true or false. The default is false. Basically, what this whole thing will do from line 29 to 32 is it will announce when somebody gets a level and basically congratulate them, make fun of them, or whatever it is you want it to do. Okay, And so the announcer is set to false. If you want it to do this, set it to true. Minimum level that it will say this is level 50. You can also change this to whatever you want, obviously down as low as level 2 all the way up to 99. This is what it will say when it occurs. If it is set to true, congrats on level is the default option. And last but not least is a log file that will be created how many times it's set it and to who if you so desire. So that's it for this video, guys. It's just a really quick short video on those two options. Like I said, I'm just going to go all the way down this page, work on these as I go, and tell you what they do and what you can change if you so desire to have them. Again, I hope this helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. The video helps me out quite a bit. Share with your friends all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next video, and please have a good one.